we I will send a guard to the off and she talks. Turn Since it back on. Just in case. <laughs> I will do that. Okay. I mean, I didn't mean to turn it off. Is I accepted it. Is the gonna be okay? How long ago did you turn it off? Just now. Okay. I flipped it and then. She will with time. Perhaps. What about her kid? I will have him sit for. He, he directs the two guards to go to the Rusty. But well, where, where is he? Uh, she came to us at the Rusty Dragon Inn. Well, he directs the two guards that way to... Rusty Dragon? It's It's been called that for many episodes. Huh. I call it the Rusty Trombone. Rusty Your trumpet? three rooms are revoked. Not in there. She'll want them But I know. <laughs> When, when they finally get the uh, door room back, they open up the door. Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't want to say it's probably writing in ink everywhere. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm surprised anybody can sleep on that floor. <laughs> Me pacing all night. Oh, fuck. So are you all going back to the end? Or you... Yep. All right. You return to the end. Uh, the guards. I'll, I'll pass the, the, the widow uh, as I leave. <laughs> wow. No change from before. Let's <laughs> give her time. Just sobbing. Just pop in the back of the sobbing. head. Good luck. A bunch of sobbing. <laughs> they could pop roll. Yeah, just like Pop, lock, and roll. Just be like, no, no. Nope. Never. <clears throat> now half part of the ghost mirror. Liang doesn't even notice as he keeps walking. Meh. Anyway, back to the crazy end. shit, Mouse. Back to the end. All right. The rest of the night passes that event. Very good. Make a perception check. Ooh, I wonder what the mouse is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. The songbirds of the morning disturb your sleep slightly. Ah. Uh, but you roll over and return to slumber. <laughs> it's not until the 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 light. Rays of the sun come through the window, <laughs> and your eyes snap open. <laughs> Is it here? Is it here at last? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like right before I went to sleep, I'm like looking at the moon. Not you. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Not yet. I haven't lost the moon. It's the sun. Are you missing your sun? You're never gonna get tired of that one, are you? No. No. My father's ranch was called the Two Sons Ranch because me and my brother. Your father is the that. most original man in the world. I'm pretty sure it's also the name of the ranch in the ranch, the Netflix show. <laughs> I'm pretty. Is sure that your not. first stop to make sure there wasn't a sun hidden anywhere? Nah, I, I look up and that's not mine. I'm pretty sure that that was the same one from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is indeed bright and hanging in the sky. Well, I'm going to go for bacon. second bacon. He's going to pick up bacon here and on the way there eat it for second bacon as the rest of the Well, I will already be sitting and go, what's up? I can't be bothered bacon. to save the town. Free bacon? I will save there's the new, town. There's a new single woman in town. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in there. Hey, there's a new single woman in town. Y'all fucked up. <laughs> and by my calculations, she'll be down the bone in like three days. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, before all that, yeah. which grieving instance was that? It, it's it's usually you know acceptance, no um, denial. Oh right, and bargaining, bargaining, bargaining is one. <laughs> You're all fucked up. Just thank you. It's true though. Well, I don't even think a natural twenty would convince her. I'm not interested. Maybe he is though. Yeah, I'm looking for the sun. <laughs> you can make your own. <laughs> There could be a sun all up, you know, in her lady parts. Oh my god. I would probably have to go for a uh, fire elemental woman. Hmm. Why? Because it's bright? Yep. I'll bring back a sun sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, so you come down, and Garadin, the inn proprietor, greets you. You have a complimentary breakfast. It's basically a biscuit and a stack of bacon at this point. <laughs> 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 a biscuit about 
20 pieces of bacon and a little bit of egg oh, on the side. Good. A large stein of ale and then a smaller one of some nice smelling dark really liquid. Uh, mm-hmm. Looks. He's getting low on gold. Smells yeah. nice. I feel like a king here. <laughs> well, that is the service we try to provide. On your last day. No. <laughs> uh, I must remind you that tonight is... Tonight, last night was the last of the free. Unfortunately, yes. And uh, I'm sure you're calling my knees saving another day. <laughs> I hope not, but it's possible, given the events of last night. I'll be sure... To you know, make sure this place comes. Oh, how he doesn't even ask what happened last night. He <laughs> doesn't care. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing about it yet. As he said, given the events of last night. Oh, I'm, I didn't. <laughs> He's eating. He does not care. <laughs> didn't do a single fuck. Uh, I thought he was talking about some other event that happened yesterday because so much fucking happens. Right. So you eat breakfast, and where do you head? I now head for second breakfast. Okay. Or we talk about the widow. All right, so you all are down in the common room. You've been served bacon. There's a lot of bacon. It seems to be the meal of choice. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> Miko comes over and pulls out a chair and sits down. Uh, it's a good thing you did last night. I didn't do anything. The goblins. I mean, the goblin. Uh, and her dog, uh, she summoned it, killed the damn thing. Do you have a dog? Sometimes. <laughs> oh. Sometimes. You can, uh... Conjure up some things. Well, it's good you did. Um, well, unfortunate what happened to, uh... Hmm, yeah. Uh, I've already given you free nights and complimentary, but I just wanted to pass along that people impressed. You've done a lot for the town just three days, is it? I think it's only been three days. Holy crap. Uh, the sheriff... Stopped in earlier. He doesn't sleep, apparently. He said, at your convenience, he'd like to meet you in the town hall, but there's no rush. Uh, sure. It's something about uh, the Goblin Raid recently, and uh, he didn't say much more than that. Um, but uh, <coughs> a special guest for you to meet, uh, the ranger that uh, comes around. She's a good friend of mine, uh, whose name... I can't remember because I need Ranger a Rosewood. Hit. Her name is Ranger Elfwood. Uh, Shalalu. She's a good friend of mine. She stops in every season. It's kind of weird she's come around actually. Uh, she oh, only, Shalalu. She was here only a month ago. We rarely see her. But, uh, Most worthless ranger of that entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he wanted me to pass it along, but. I don't feel like you have to rush. You had a very eventful evening. I'll finish my breakfast and leave. Tell Bethana if you need any more. And as she says the words bacon, the shadow comes over the doorway. <laughs> Beard strides in. <laughs> Who says something about bacon? <laughs> bacon! Well, my I can do it with some. A lot. <laughs> we have places to go, apparently. Not before bacon. We can get a plate to go. Alrighty. Somehow, they already knew. <laughs> and a bacon platter has been laid out for you with a little biscuit, a little bit of it. I feel like a king in this place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab a couple pieces after I eat my main breakfast. I'm like, alright guys, I'll see you guys there. Deuces. Should we go with him? Walk out. I guess. You want to come with us, Bruce? Again. I'll bring back the plate. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It is nine till, so we should probably... Call it here because we have a bit of a discussion ahead of us and very involved event in our future. A what? Very involved event. That's right. You mean one where we level? Or the meeting tomorrow? <laughs> or the one where we miss more the attacks? Where we die. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. Or almost. I'm not trying to kill you, but the goblins are. I'm not, not trying to kill you, you but uh, I just. Your dice are. <laughs> My dice most definitely are trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. All right, well that's it. A rogue's best defense is a uh, really good offense, and you can't be a glass cannon when you're not doing any damage. <laughs>